Hey everybody, my name is Kademar. Welcome back for another video of Total War Attila. We're going to continue this series, boys. Um, last day, last game that we did, I'm not entirely sure what we exactly we did. I don't remember, boys. That's such a, large, a short memory. I know that we expanded upon our empire. Yeah, I think, yeah, we defeated the Saxons and we defeated this faction that was over here as well, the Rugans. Actually, no, we didn't defeat them. We just drove them out of their cities we exchanged a, a bunch of cities so that we could it could look better and stuff we also invaded britain because the saxons did that by themselves so i had to do it myself as well all right i think that's it right i think that's the only thing uh that we did well i say only but that's a big thing so we're just gonna go ahead and already end the turn so I don't know what I'm gonna do in this video boys we're gonna I guess continue to invade other countries uh, maybe invade these guys right there um, I'm not sure how they're called again but uh, I might try to invade uh, some of the the northern the northern factions maybe I don't know boys all I gotta do is all I want to do basically in this series is have them all at least almost all of the of the of the world under my shoes so we'll see how it goes i don't know exactly how i'm sp i'm i will do that um i probably will end up doing like i did with the rugans and stuff like making peace with them i think i made peace with the saxons probably i doubt i defeated the saxons i really doubt it boys but like that's probably what i'm gonna end up doing every time is uh, oh, faction. Oh, the Saxons are destroyed now. All right, so Genobode, Imperial. Okay, so I think one of my generals just died, so that's why I had to replace him. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and. Oh, I can upgrade these knights finally. I'm just gonna go ahead and, I guess, just declare a bunch of wars. And once once I take the territories, then I can like ask for peace, I guess, because I don't. I don't see why why not right there's no reason why the uh, the other factions wouldn't want to get peace or anything they were getting destroyed by me so are we uh, still at war with anybody i'm just gonna check really quick boys i don't quite remember okay no we're good we're not at war um we st we have britannia which i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep this territory because it does align it's it's an okay align in alignment we can see the trade stuff so i feel like it's okay it looks it looks right now either we def either we go against the angles or we go against the lugans now the lugans do have two territories and the angles only one so i'm tempted to go against the uh, the angles boys on this one so that's i think that's what i'm going to do i i'm going to have to use my army of the north in order to do that so we're just gonna put them on seas it's gonna go quick uh, quicker for them to do that and i guess continue to upgrade our stuff we don't have too much to do but uh really that's all we're gonna do really right now is we're gonna uh, try to defeat the angles take their territory which i badly need i need this city instead uh, in, i need angelus in order to complete this uh, region so we're gonna do that for sure afterwards gonna take care of these guys right here boys i did get uh, in exchange for this territory right there i did get from the romans this territory so that's really cool uh i'm gonna need an artisan right here so where's the artisan right here okay well, i got it we got to need some farm and we're also gonna need some sanitation but yeah let's uh, let's get the sanitation going I really am interested in getting these cities right here, but I'm waiting for the rebellions and stuff. And so far, it hasn't happened really. No rebellions so far, boys. We're pretty far into the campaign already. We're in 411, and there's still no like. There's been like, on my part, the, my side of the, the the world, there's been only one rebellion. So that's pretty weird, boys. It's pretty uh, pretty interesting right there. Actually, I might be able to... No, I can't do it. Okay, so... We're gonna have uh, one of our son... Well, the son of our... Our brother, basically. Search for a wife. That's all we're gonna do. 
I did say in the first video I wanted to attack uh, my family, so try to assassinate them because I don't know, boys. My son's not ready to be an heir just yet. I don't want to take any risk. I might want to kill my brothers, but I'm not sure if that's such a good idea either. I kind of want to have a strong family in this one, so I'm going to keep as uh, keep it as it is for now. I'm not going to try to kill my family or anything. Oh, there's a rebellion right there. Oh my god, are you serious? Uh, take her and? Yeah, sure. That's a good one. That's a good wife. Uh, let's upgrade this. We need a new tech, so we're going to do that. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff we can actually upgrade right here. That's really good. There we go. Um, before I upgrade anything then, there's, yeah, there's been a rebellion just right there, boys. Right under our nose. I shouldn't have left. Well, I I had to leave if I wanted to go against the Ingles. Tell you what, we need an army to for Britain anyway, so might as well keep the army of our king uh, to Britain. We're gonna go take that territory in the next turn, if we can. And I guess that's about it. Let me check if I got any other cities I need to upgrade and stuff. There we go. Just making sure, boys. I need to yeah, put this guy here. It's going to protect this region. And we got another upgrade right here. Ugh, so many upgrades, boys. God damn. All right. This is what happens when you got uh, so many cities. So what I might have to do, I'm going to need another army. Yeah, I'm going to need another army. I've got one from the south, one from the west, one from the east. One, uh, I'm missing the one for the north. I want to keep this one for Britain, I guess. I mean, it's still... I don't know if I want to build another city. It's supposed to be the one for the north, this one, but... I'm going to have two cities from Britain now. Which, that's not really good. I could give it to the Romans, though. I could do that. I could give it to the Romans and try to get another city. Yeah, I might do that. We're going to wait on the angles, boys. We can wait on the angles. I'm just going to attack the rebellion, uh, the rebellion and take their city, ex uh, change it, like trade it uh, to the Romans in exchange for a better city and stuff. I really want to keep just my four armies for now because I only have one city over uh, Britain and I don't feel like it's for one city. It's worth it to keep an army, an entire army, you know. With my mod and everything, it's really not worth it. Got someone else who died. Uh, we admit, we felt that we needed a, a fleet. Um, which I don't have any. I purposely... I'm going to block that. I purposely like prevented myself from having any fleets. So that is a thing. I don't. The reason why I don't need fleets is because I have so many armies. I'm... We have plenty of money to just build armies in itself. I really don't need to have fleets to protect me on the, the seas. Like it's not that important in this game boys. I'm telling you right now. The AI is not that smart alright. It's not going to attack you from the seas. Most of the times it's going to try to land on your shores. And attack you from there. So they're not, they're not going to do anything else. They're not going to try to outsmart you or anything. They're there. They're not that smart. We do I still have that army right here. Okay, I upgraded everything I needed to upgrade. Let's continue to do our researches. We do have this right here. So I upgraded all of our cities basically. Now I think with this army, the army of the king, we can actually go ahead and attack these guys. Um, the thing is I can't be the one attacking because... They already have these guys of picks attacking them, which I don't like. I can't attack them because of that. Well, there might be, uh, I don't know, boys. I think it's a waste of time what I'm doing right now, but whatever. We got this guy. So this guy, I mean, it's 20 years of age. How old is my son? My son is seven years of age. I can't put this guy as my, one of my general, my general or or uh, how's it called governor yeah 
So that's bad. We do have an illegitimate daughter that we need to have um, somebody to be with her. So I guess I could ask, I don't know. I could ask Britain maybe Welcome to give me a wife or something. There we go. Or to give them uh, my, there we go. I'm going to pay them and they're going to accept boys. No worries. There we go. Just key, keep her. You can, uh, you can get her if you want. Uh, she's not important. She's a legitimate, so I really don't need her. We're gonna do that, and I think I'm gonna do. I guess this one, this one right there. Okay, let's continue, boys. We've got lots of turns. We're already in. We're gonna already gonna be in 414. I think the picks are gonna end up um, taking the territory I wanted from the rebels. Yeah, probably because uh, did they attack? I think they're attacking or it's them attacking. I don't know, boys. Either way, they don't have that strong of an army. It's not a really cool battle. So let's just... Let's just protect it, I guess. There we go. Kill these guys. We had such a strong army. It's like 6,000 or something. They had a big army. Uh, the pigs and me too. So I didn't... Oh, I almost lost an army. Someone there. I lost pretty plenty people. That's not good. Did the pigs take the territory or not? Doesn't look like the pigs actually took the territory. They left. They went ahead and defeated them and just left. All right. Well, it's ours for the taking, boys. We can take it if we want. Now the map is all reversed or something for some reason. Don't know what the Jutes are doing. I think they're attacking these guys. I think they're expanding their. Places the the Danes are at war with each other. Into the next turn, boys. Uh, ten thousand just for that. That's a lot. Hey, whenever I see that, where you gotta pay ten thousand to have your new research and stuff, that's a lot of money, boys. I mean, it makes it slower, it's slower to to have your stuff, but I still think it's ridiculous a little bit. We can take that city. Let's go ahead and take it already. They don't have that much people. We're good here? Yeah, we're good. We didn't lose anybody. That was way too easy. So we're just going to go ahead and occupy this place. I might want to do it already. Just like exchange or trade my territories. But I'm not... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not entirely sure just yet if I want to do that. I mean, I could de destroy the pigs. But the pigs do have a big army right now against me. Uh, yeah, they have plenty. See, the pigs have the entire place up belongs to the pigs, actually. These are the Ablaians or whatever. Yeah, they have a big influence, boys. Look at this. They have an, the entirety of Britain, almost. Hmm. Pigs are pretty strong. They can't give me anything in return, though, so it won't be worth... Well, they could give me that. I mean, instead for me of me asking this over here, I could ask them to just trade up one territory for the other. I might actually just do that, boys. Might actually just, just do that. that. Just trade. I will just trade this one for this one, so it looks better. Let's do that. There we go. Now it's gonna look better. We got this city right here, or this village, however you want to. However you think it is. It's not the same region as this. But it's fine. For me it looks good on the map. So it's all fine. There we go. So we got. We're expanding on over Britain boys. We're expanding over Britain. We're going to keep these. We're going to have to. Since we're expanding over Britain. We're definitely going to keep this army. Uh, the uh, army. The king's army over here. And we're going to focus on. On building a new army for the north. Which uh, I'm going to build them over there. Not in the capital. Just over here. I'm going to raise a new force. We're going to choose this guy. He looks good. Actually 61 years old. So I'm not going to put him. Uh, I'm going to put this guy right here. 40, 43 still looks alright. That's an army. Let's, let's do that I guess. There we go. Yeah there we go. Let's uh, upgrade him. Let's give him a, a good army, boys. 
Germanic warriors. These are really good. These are warriors right there seem really good with the axe and stuff. Oh, we do have uh, catapults now, so we need to do that. I'm gonna get two catapults. We're gonna get the archers, of course, which I still don't have better archers for some reason. I don't know when that's gonna happen. When are we gonna get more like better archers and stuff? I'm really waiting for this, boys. I'm really waiting for it. Anyways, we're building our army for the north. And I guess that's about it. We do have our, yeah, our spy we need to focus on. Can't, we can't uh, forget about our spy, that's for sure. We need to keep reminding ourselves that uh, we got a spy and we can actually move him up and stuff and look at the world. So once our army right here is finished, oh, we got a, a new upgrade. Once our army is finished, no, I don't want that. We're going to go ahead and... Attack the angles, boys, and get another territory. Every t uh, basically every video, we're gonna get as much territory as, po uh, as possible. We're gonna move up and move up until we we eventually have either half of the world or the entirety. They made ready for war. The world had fallen into shadow. The earth grew cold, and the wind whispered of death. And I beheld a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of scales in his hand. Attila was born. All knelt before him. For they knew he would devour the earth and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Attila was born from darkness and despair. There you go, another cutscene, boys. Basically tells us that Attila is born, is born. so uh, the big nomads are gonna get maybe a boost or something, that's about it. It's not that big of a deal really, but um, it, the, he gets his own cutscene and everything. It, after all, it's his game, so I mean it, it makes sense, right? So let's do the other research, there we go. We don't have anything right now we need to upgrade or anything, I don't think so, so... We're good here. Of course, we're gonna need to upgrade our new city that we just got. Um, now I don't know. These seems like I don't know which one uh, gives us. I don't know if we have an artisan or it not. But we're gonna get sa uh, sanitation in here. We're gonna keep my army, the uh, the king's army, in here in Lindum, so that he protects us from any invasion, incoming invasion, if there's some. Uh, I think I'm already done with this turn, boys. Some of the turns are really quick. If I don't have to build anything, if I don't have to do anything, uh, they're going to be pretty quick. I do have an upgrade for this guy and the archers as well. Have big upgrades. Retrain. I guess retrain. There we go. And afterwards, you do upgrade. That's what you want to do. There we go. Good. Uh, also have some upgrades for the general itself. There we go. Gave him all the upgrades. We're good. So I might actually be tempted to attack somebody in here in the south. Uh, while I'm preparing my army for the west. Uh, for the north. I don't know who I could be attacking boys. I mean on the west over here it's just the... It's the Romans, which I don't want to attack just yet. Let me check out. We're going to scout, boys. So, over here on the south, we've got either these guys, which seems that they have maybe one or two cities, uh, one or two regions. These guys, the Illyria, have two to three regions, actually, three cities. So, they're going to be more complicated to take out. We do have the Lugans, of course, but... Uh, I, I would need to take out these two cities which are really far from each other. 
um, and I'm probably I could use I could attack the Lugians I guess I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing boys I'm gonna attack the Lugians um, which I don't know which one I'm gonna do first there we go gotta be careful because some separatists are here the Germanic separatists are here which are rebels nomad rebels um, I don't know it seems like both are not protected well enough we're gonna go for the capital first since it's closest to our cities and, and stuff I think we're good um, our son is getting uh, it's getting higher in uh, health and age so that's really good for us he's probably going to be ready soon to be our heir which my king right now is 50 years old we gotta be careful most of the kings in this game die around 60 um, and that's about it either mid 50s or 60s uh, that's when they die and uh, since he's already 50 years old a pharaoh I'm gonna have to figure something out here because I can't let my brother be the new king all right I can't let him I need my son to be the king so that it is the rightful heir and whatnot we're just gonna skip the, these turns of course um so many turns many <laughs> we're skipping so many turns a lot of years now that we skipped uh, because we don't have too much to do in this video actually it's pretty quiet I'm just building my armies uh, building a new army I defeated one encampment a rebel like place I traded the the places uh, I do have my like spy and everything and I'm about to def uh, to attack these guys that you can see right there but aside from that there's nothing like I'm pretty I haven't done too much in this video which I, I don't like like I like to do a lot in uh, in my videos so I like to have some actions going so we're good here I really don't have anything to build aside from here which is of course my new city so of course I'm gonna have a bunch of new stuff to build but uh, let's continue to build up my army right here now I don't know I think we're good uh, two four six two four s okay you're they're equal in size and my army is going to be complete the the army of the north is going to be complete the next turn so next turn we're going to be able to attack the angles boys now they do have an army right here the Lugians uh, which their army doesn't look that strong they've got some light spears and stuff they're still gonna be pretty dangerous pretty dangerous boys so we gotta be careful about that uh, why can't we attack hmm this is why uh, okay so I don't know why we can't attack let me check really quick uh, boys Let's check out what's going on here. Can't attack them. I look forward to your wisdom. We could declare war to them. Right away, there we go. Now we could attack. Now we can attack them. Uh, we couldn't move for some reason. Okay, but we can probably do the, that assault right here against their army. So you know what? We'll do that assault, balls, right away. We'll do our first battle. Oh, we can't do it. They're, they won't let us. You, we can't. Uh, we could invade one of their two cities, but at the same time, I'm kind of tempted to just attack, make a insult and, uh, and stuff. Yeah, let's do it. They've got a lot of army, a big army, and we've got some uh, got our armies as well. So we're gonna do, we're gonna try it out, boys. Um, I can't, like, can I quick save? Yes, I want a quick save. So we're going to quick save really quick before doing the battle and we're going to jump right into the battle. We're going to do our first battle of the game, boys. This is the these are the kinds of battles I'm going to do. Uh forces versus They've got a big army, uh big enough for me to deal with them, to have some fun. I mean, pretty OP anyways. I've got the OP stuff anyways. So I'm going to I'm going to destroy them, hopefully. But it's still going to be fun to just see the units in real time. And what they actually look like. What we're gonna do, we're gonna have to be uh, like this right here. Move in position. And I'm gonna put my cavalry. I'm gonna put them right here, boys. Um, along, uh, along here. So I'm gonna put my cavalry along here. 
All right, boys, we managed to see them. They were hidden. I know where they are. We just have to find them, basically, because they're hidden in the map for some reason. Uh, really, really weird. The enemy approaches. Okay, so what you're going to do, buddy, what you're going to do is you're just going to you're going to stop right here. Stop right here. There we go. You're going to make your put yourself in position. I'm going to need to attack with my cavalry. I'm going to need to attack uh, the archers and start attacking, boys. Let's go attack, attack, attack. Okay, attack these guys with all you've got. Go, 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 attack. Oh my god. No, 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 no. They're going to try to attack with their cavalry. That's not going to happen. We're going to destroy these cav the cavalries right now. There we go. We're attacking them. Feel like we're doing a good job. I'm not sure, boys. If we did get defeated, I'm just going to go back, boys. I'm going to be cheap like that. Like, I, I've got the save and everything, so... If I fucked up... What, what is he doing? What the hell is he doing? What the f... What does he think he's doing? Okay, pause. Pause for an... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, pause for a minute. When I do pause, that's what it does. Oh my god, I, are you serious right now? Just come on, attack these guys. I did the wrong formation, boys. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, create AI group defend. Come on. Attack these guys. There we go. Attack them with uh, all of your ammo. What I should have done, I should have just put my my melee units in the front so they were they would be able to just like blast through these guys i'm actually just gonna attack the general right here i think i'm doing fine i just basically lost a lot of i lost a lot of uh a lot of units for no reason boys that's the problem right here there we go all right you boys i need you guys to rally I need you guys to rally. There we go. We're going to move them back. We're going to let them attack us. Because I made the mistake of putting my archers in front. And my archers... Uh, yeah, they, they got a lot of damage from uh, for my archers. So I got to be careful about that. That's the only thing really. But the rest... The rest managed to be just fine, boys. We defeated them. But now we're going to finish them. Uh, I need to well, I need to attack these guys. So let's just attack these guys right here. Go 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 go. Attack um, these guys. The rest of you, you can go ahead and try to attack these guys. We're gonna finish the battle up, boys. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to defeat all of them. They're probably gonna be able to escape and stuff. I gotta destroy this uh, this guy, the general. Gotta make sure he's completely dead. And I guess. I mean, I can do that. I should have do that. I did that, though. Precision shot. I should have done that. You know, we are making some mistakes, boys. It's all right. First time uh, I've been. Ro it's been a while since I did a battle in a total war, so you know, I had some problems and stuff. But we managed to do it. I mean, we managed to to do our job, so that's all fine. I think I'm just gonna end the battle. I think I'm good. End the battle. It's a decisive victory. Doesn't feel like it though. I did lose 500. Like I would have probably just lost fifth, like 200 or something with the auto result. I lost 500, which is a lot, boys, for me. That right here hurts a lot to see that my archers getting destroyed like that hurts a lot but I, I managed to destroy them like my arrows do so much damage and I've got so many ammo really what saved me I think is the uh, OP mods that I have all right here we go let's finish this up um, I might be tempted to actually just yeah finish them up once and for all let's just finish them up boys I'm not gonna do battle 60 70 people left we're gonna do protective. There we go. 
Lots of upgrades for this. I mean, it's really good to do the battles and stuff, at least. There we go. Replenish our armies. Replenishing our armies is really good as well. I mean, still, we are missing one unit now. So we did lose one unit. Uh, it's only one unit, but it still hurts a lot. I thought it was a big defeat for us, boys. A big defeat. Not, not a defeat, but a big loss right there. It was uh, very risky to do all that. Oh, we have a... They might actually rebel over here. If they take the city, I'm going to take it. I mean, uh, I welcome you to do it. So I'm there for that. I'm building this, uh, uh, this army right here. So now I know exactly what my armies need, boys. When I kind of comes down to battle. I do need cavalry. I need at least uh, like two cavalries is enough. Two cavalry units is enough for me. Uh, I feel like so that's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna end the video right here. I'm gonna see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for the initial video, boys. Keep it easy.